There's a commotion at the oyster bar. Everyone remained clam. <laughs> no one moved a muscle. So, yeah. They say that uh, they say the school gets you ready for things later in life, but they don't tell how early they get started. You know the alphabet: H I J K, alimony P. Oh my God! Yeah, that's no good. I started sub. <laughs> I started substitute teaching a couple months ago. Don't make any noise. I do it for the money. Um, yeah, it's a lot, lot of fun. Really difficult job, though. You know, kids totally out of control. First day, absolute chaos. Kids telling me to suck their dick to my face. Is that really what you want me to do, Carlos? With everything that's in the news, I fit the profile. Don't do that to me. Um, hmm. Yeah, I finally got that class on the first day to be quiet by accidentally dropping an F-bomb on him in the last period. <laughs> that school asked me not to come back. Uh, but at least those kids shut the fuck up, you know? <laughs> yeah, right? You have kids? Or do you teach kids? <laughs> I just saw you nodding. I wanted to connect with you. I'm not trying to single you out or anything. <laughs> I just like agreement, you know? <laughs> um, cool. Hmm. I was walking down the street the other day, and I heard some music coming out of some guy's front yard, and I was sort of bobbing my head to it, walking past, and then I heard, uh, Oye, gringo, Tomas? And I said, oh, my name's Derek, not Tomas. My name's Derek. No, tomate, tomate. He, was, he had a Corona in his hand. He said, it means drink it, you know? So, I, yeah, so I started drinking with these guys, and I... You like it. <laughs> so I started drinking with these guys, and, like, you know, got fucked up immediately, which happens every time I drink with Latinos, and I love it, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah this guy, he knows. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, it was a lot of fun, and then uh, one of them offered me a cigar. I thought he meant a cigar. I said, yes, it was a Marlboro Light. I smoked it to be polite. That's cool with me. Yeah, but uh, I asked him afterwards, and I said, oh, a cigar. I thought you meant a cigar, and he said, no somos jotos, which means we're not gay in Spanish, you know. <laughs> So I said, ¿Por qué no chupan los gordos negros, solo los pequeños blancos? Which means, ah, you're not gay because you don't suck the fat black ones. You just suck the little white ones. That's why you're not gay. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not gay, I promise. I'm wearing roses on my shirt. I just like pretty things. You know, Sada, Goodwill, it's mine. Okay. Um, yeah. But after I, uh, you know, I, I saw another guy who was wearing a shirt, and I said, uh, where'd you get it? He said, oh, I got it from the thrift store. And I said, oh, are they all out of them? Because, you know, it was usually one of each of the, yeah, that was stupid. I appreciate you giving me the little nod. Isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. Who here likes to fuck? Everyone. Okay, yeah, well, <laughs> this guy, everyone, but I think all of the rest of you are liars because I didn't hear anything. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's okay. I, I like to fuck, it's, but it's difficult. I started when I was 26, not by choice. It was just how things worked out for me. You know, and it, <laughs> I'm 29 now, and in case you've been wondering if it's been a nonstop fuck fest since then, it has not. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, you know, I, I <laughs> try. And uh, for a while, oh, shit, okay. Yeah, for a while, uh, I was wondering, like, okay, well, what's going on here? Uh, and then, sorry, he just, uh, for, I, I think I got lit early. It's okay. Um, here, I'll start talking about something else. Well, the first lady I ever came with, do you guys want to hear the story? Yeah, you do. Okay, cool. Because it was not the first lady that I was ever with. The first couple of girls that I was with, like, uh, well, one of them just kind of got into things, like, way too fast, and I got scared, so my dick shriveled up immediately. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, uh, you know, and she didn't know that I was a virgin, so I was like, okay, well, I guess I just eat her pussy now, which I did for a long time. And just kept on using my hands and stuff. And, 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 and I'm not trying to brag, but uh, she came a bunch. But I think it was just because I was under pressure. I performed well under pressure. Uh, huh. you know, but, then, but then when she was, when it was all done, you know, uh, and I felt the last contractions dying away, you know, she, uh, she sort of said, oh, baby, I didn't know it could be that good like that. And then she turned over and started snoring. 
and me having you know the confidence of a bowl of jello i just kind of like tapped her on the shoulder it's like well uh <clears throat> what about me and she's like, uh, oh baby in the morning nothing happened in the morning oh well yeah. you know it's uh but that that's fine i find nicer people now uh but the first lady i ever came with and by the way fellas uh, just a public service announcement if you're not jerking off wet uh, you should be you know uh, start now <laughs> Because if you're jerking off, if you find yourself having a hard time coming when with your when you're with your lady, try simulating the vagina. You know, put a little spit on your hand, because uh, uh, you know you might just be wanting more friction, and it's not there. It's not. It's a very slippery business having sex. And now, as a matter of fact, I, I found that I can really only come if a lady is jerking me off after, like, you know, a, a, a lot of other stuff. It, uh, do I need to get off now? I thought you lit me early. I. Did you light me early, or, or is time just moving faster because I'm on nicotine? I don't get it. Okay, okay, I, I see it. Well, I'm just going to uh, finish this story here. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> he said, I thought we had agreed to... I mean, you could break, You could have brought on Francisco, and then I was ready to go with these people all night, just like the ladies. Come on. Uh, yeah, so th this first lady that I ever came with, I met a very nice and also a little bit promiscuous Czech girl in Dublin, Ireland. Fantastic. She decided that she wanted to fuck me when we were having breakfast, a fact that I did not discover till later, but God bless her for making up her mind that early and not changing it because honestly a lot of times like I like to feel kind of clean physically when I fuck and so some of the first ladies I ever brought back like I said oh you want to take a shower or something they did not they were drunk they just wanted to fuck immediately one of them had throw up on her and I was like I think that we should just clean up before we do this you know have a, a nicer time and so instead uh, well you know like I think the problem is that if you go and have a shower first it gives them time to reconsider and that, you know, and that's, okay, all right. But this very nice lady in Dublin, Ireland, see, I'm working all this out. All the, all, you know, all the thoughts are kind of jumbled. I'm a little bit uncomfortable talking about sex. Could you tell? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, you know, so she was, we were going for a good, good long time. See, I think we were fucking for, by my count, about two and a half hours. And I say this again, not to build myself up, but yeah, I do this a lot, so it's hard to come in a pussy, uh, you know. And, and so we were gone for a long time, and I think also my brain was telling me, hey, you're doing this for the first time, really. Like, honestly, it was just eating pussy. For the, for the first time, you got to make up for some lost time. You're going to last. Uh, and so that was uh, fun. To, but then she said, oh, I'm starting to get tired. I think I'm going to, like, fall asleep or something, so we better finish up. Like, very polite. I like the Europeans' politeness. This is very nice. And so she, you know, and, and, and she said, okay, so what do you want me to do? I said, oh, you know, can you just kind of get on top of me and jerk me off? So she all kinds of spit in her hand. She was jerking me off. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then finally, I came, and it got in both of our hair. That's hilarious. That <laughs> I didn't know it could go that far. So I'm thinking, like, if I get a steady girlfriend, I'm just going to put a gong on the headboard and aim for the bull bullseye every time. Ping, pong, ping, you know. It's, uh, <laughs> I really like that. Uh, well, you guys know about Will Smith slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars? Yeah. Yeah. I think something that we all learned that night is don't mess with the Fresh Prince. Am I right? Yes, because he'll leave Fresh Prince on your face. Oh, come on. <laughs> Whip his hair back and forth. Thank you. He whipped that hand back and forth. Back, back again. Well, not back to the Oscars, bitch. Ten-year ban. He really fucked that up. I mean, we all knew snitches get stitches, but we didn't know that Hitch be dishing stitches to bitches. Now, did we? <laughs> Will Smith starred in Collateral Beauty, but we didn't know he was going to smack down, protect that community booty, am I right? The sun is down. The hip thrust should be fine. You guys should be laughing. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> because these jokes are my greatest hits. Appreciate you guys. Come on, give it up for Whitestone Brewery. Give it up for your bartenders. Give it up for your host, Anthony, Ryan, and give it up for your other comedians you've seen and are going to see tonight. Have a good night. My name is Derek Dimple. God bless. Give it up for Derek, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it going. It's one of my favorites.